we have steel wheels on our train. And when you get that steel wheel making contact with the steel rail, the steel wears out. After so many years, it has to be replaced to maintain that safe and quality ride. So this is what's called a switch. At these switch points, these are the only places that we are able to move the trains from one track to the other. That's why the maintenance and upkeep of these is critical to the upkeep of our system. The switches have been in service for 30 plus years and they are at the end of life. We will actually cut out the old rail. We remove the ties. Then we take down two inches of the ballast. The ballast is the rock that the rail sits on. And then we come back through and we put everything back. So it takes a long time because it's a lot of rail. Um, generally, these areas go from two to 300 feet in length. So we, we are replacing all of the rail and all of the timber ties. The track behind me, as you see, is out of service. So in this area, we are able to, so what's called single track, we're able to keep one track in service. We do have other areas on the system where we're not able to do that. We have some diamond crossovers, and when we replace those crossovers, we will have to do what's called a complete shutdown. The diamond crossover is exactly what it looks like. It's a big X, it touches both tracks. So when we replace that, you have to take out the whole thing at one time. So when you do that, you are taking out both tracks. We are not able to single track in those time periods. Right now we're going through Canterbury Junction, which is where our red and gold lines split. It is one of our most used areas of the system. So when we replace the diamond crossover at the Canterbury Junction, because both tracks will be out of service, we will be using a bus bridge to move our patrons from station to station. The buses will be running in a continuous loop from Lindbergh Station to Buckhead Station to Lenox Station, back to Buckhead Station and back to Lindbergh. Now we will have to interrupt service for several days, but the major benefit is that when we're done, the trains can move through the area a lot faster. We're making the ride quality better and we're making it safer for our passengers to keep our system functioning properly and safely.